Hi, I'm Jose Alvarez, Engineering Director for Video Technology at Xilinx. Today we'd like to talk to you about image formats and various ways of representing images. Let's first start talking about the sensitivity of the human eye to color primaries. You could represent any image in three color primaries and the sensitivity of the human eye is not equal to each of those primaries. In this color matching function diagram you could see the response of the human eye to the green, the red, and the blue components of a primary. Here, for instance, you could see very easily that it requires a lot more power to represent blue colors than it represents to uh, than it takes to represent green or red. This will be very important when we talk later about image representation and especially subsampling of images. First, let's talk about common ways of representing images. One common way of representing images is as a two-dimensional array of pixels. In this graph, you could see that you have sets of rows of pixels and columns. You could also call them lines and pixels individually as well. In this example, each pixel is represented by an RGB triplet that follows the color primaries that we talked previously. These pixels are what are called co-located, meaning that the R, G, and B components corresponds to one physical location of the picture itself.